Who is that mysterious man with so much aura? Hey Wildcats, today we'll be talking about Neil, photos, and arts. All of that on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. What's up Wildcats? Please ignore the hat. Frog Force and their sister team, the Automated Amphibians, will be holding their annual Robotics Info Night tonight in the Media Center at 6.30. They will be giving a presentation on the different aspects, parts, and operations of both of their teams. If you are interested in learning more about robotics, STEM, or our school's robotics teams, I would highly suggest that you go check it out. Again, it will be at 6.30 tonight in the Novi High School Media Center. It will be completely free. Hope to see you there, Wildcats. Hello, Novi. Your photography interest group will be having their final meeting on Friday, May 31st from 3 to 4 p.m. in MC Lab 1, which is right across from room 182. They will be watching a photography documentary and popcorn will be provided. Hope to see you there, Novi. Novi's ASTC is having their very last meeting next Tuesday in room 106 at 2.45 p.m. They will be making Ala Seltzer rockets and they would appreciate it if you were to attend their very last meeting. Have you ever been interested in joining theater? Does writing, acting, talking about social issues, directing, technical directing, any of these things sound interesting? Well, here's your opportunity to try something new next year. Auditions for next year's Awkward Pause Troupe are taking place this week and next week. You can scan this QR code or go to the Flipgrid link to upload a video of yourself talking. This will be the first part of your audition. It's about 30 seconds to a minute. Click on the invite link, sign in to Flipgrid from your school account. Click on the AP Soapbox topic and read the prompt. Record a 30 second to a minute video of yourself responding to the prompt. Submit it when you think you have it. After recording the video in the caption section, write your first and last name. When you are fully ready to submit your application, click on the post to topic button. And don't worry, your Soapbox video audition will only be viewed by the adult directing team of the Awkward Pause Troupe. All audition submissions are due by 10 p.m. on May 30th, Thursday. What is a Soapbox, you might ask? It's just you talking about something that's important to you. The topic can be anything, something you view as serious or humorous, something others view as serious or humorous. There are a bunch of samples and examples on the document linked on the QR code. The Awkward Pause Troupe is looking for all different kinds of people, from students who are not involved in any other things to students who are already doing two or three clubs, interest groups, or other things. The directing team is looking for kids who come from a wide range of experiences and backgrounds, and kids who are open to learning about the differences and the similarities and craft wonderful shows for the entire student body. Following the exact same audition path for everyone, you might be interested in joining the writing, acting, or technical student directing side of the Awkward Pause troupe. All members can choose to write pieces or not write pieces, act or not act, it is entirely up to you. If any of this sounds interesting to you, please audition for the Awkward Pause Troupe. It's a great way to socialize, meet people, and learn about a bunch of new things. Again, the Flipgrid audition is due May 30th, Thursday, at 10 p.m. Follow this QR code and I hope to see you there. Speaking of Awkward Pause, the final Awkward Pause show of the year is here. The Awkward Pause Troupe is celebrating its 21st year with the Best Of Show. The Best Of Show will be Saturday, June 1st, 2024, at 7 p.m. in the Novi Middle School Auditorium. Current and past troupe members will be performing pieces from old Awkward Pause shows. I promise you, it's a lot of fun, so please be there. Saturday, June 1st at 7 p.m. in the Novi Middle School Auditorium. Come watch the Awkward Pause Troupe presenting the 21st Anniversary Best Of Show. Next up we have the Classic Lays. Now you can't go wrong with these. However, they're not the best variety of Lays. A. And uh, they taste pretty alright. I'll give them a B. Okay, Classic Lays. They're classic, but they're boring. B tier. Next we have the Barbecue Lays. Now these are better than the normal ones. They have to go S. I hate barbecue. D. I also hate barbecue. C. You're like an A tier. Like they're not the best, but it's also like the original Lays in S tier. And not have barbecue in like A tier. At least you gotta be tripping. 
No, you don't get the mic. No, give me. No. Hey, Moose no. doesn't get to rank. Next up, we have sour cream and onion lays. Amazing. They're also gonna go in S. Great, but they're not better than some of the S tier chips. I'm gonna give these an A. I'm actually gonna agree with Matt on this one. Like, they're amazing, and I would definitely reach for them before classics, but A. Next up, we got Pringles, and people love these, but for me, they're not like the best chip. I'm just gonna put them in B. Pringles are like really artificial, because you know that shape, like, that's not natural. I mean, low key, they're pretty classic. A. No. Pringles, they have this thing with all the, the different flavors, right? So I'm gonna give them up. Be. Next up, we have the classic ruffles. Now, these aren't as good as the cheese ones. However, the classic ones, C. I'll say the classic ones are good, but they're not great. I'll give them an A. The cheddar ones are clearly an S. So, yeah, I'd have to agree. And Ben's actually right this time, which is pretty crazy. I would give them a B. The cheddar ones are definitely an S. Next up, we got Sun Chips. So we have the original cheddar and garden salsa, which are probably like the three, I would say the most popular. The same thing with the ruffles. They're like, okay, C. Cheddar cheese, like, I don't really get the hype around them. B. I'll put garden salsa in A. So you're a child and you're going down the, the chip aisle. Let me tell you, the original are okay. I'll give those a B. Garden salsa are a little worse. I'll give them a C. But the cheddar ones, above and beyond S tier. Well, Sun Chips, I only eat garden salsa. I don't know, though. Like, I used to think they were somehow healthy, but I'm really more like a Cool Ranch Dorito type guy. That's my jam. I'll give Garden Salsa like a solid B minus. I don't really care what flavor it is. Sun Chips is Sun Chips. So for me, they're just all A. Next we have Takis, and these are probably my number two or number three favorite chip. These are amazing. S. I love these so much. S tier. Takis are an instant S. They're awesome. Next up, we got Tostitos. Obviously going into S. They're one of the best dipping chips. This is going to be unfair for Tostitos. I'm just in general not a huge fan of the chip by itself and I don't like dip so I'll give these a B. They're like the number one dip chip for us so S. That wraps up our chip tier list. We'll be back next year for more. We'll see you later Novi. Hey Phil, where do pirates buy their hooks from? Where do pirates buy their hooks from? The second hand store. <laughs> <laughs> hey Doug, what Phil? Where do you learn to make an ice cream sundae? Where? Sunday school. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, we have one more episode left of Cat's Eye News. Stay tuned, we'll be right back tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.